we do any more talking. This is incredible, guys. We've been looking for them. We were looking for them this morning, and we could hear them in the distance. But very luckily now, Herod spotted them on top of this dead tree. Incredible. Now, I think we are looking at the female. She's the one on the right that has got the blue underneath her beak. The male is the one in the middle, the one with the very enlarged throat. And then two youngsters from probably different litters. The one on top seems to be the younger one. And the one at the bottom seems to be slightly older just because his colors seem to be slightly brighter. Let's just take one moment to appreciate this. This is a very, very special sighting. This is incredible. Now, I think what we're looking at is they're going to start breeding in the next few months or so, around about end of July, August. So what we're looking is very likely the beginning of their courtship displays and where the males and the females are going to call to reinforce their bond before the breeding season comes along. And these birds are not all too common to see around this area and especially not common at all see them calling uh, towards one another sitting down in such perfect view so we have gotten definitely very lucky with these beautiful birds <laughs> Nathan, you're wondering if there's scavengers like vultures. No, they can also do their own hunting. However, if there's a kill, they might just have a few bites. But normally they specialize in hunting tortoises and reptiles and frogs that they found on the ground when they go foraging. Oh, this is so incredibly special. I don't think what a day we've had already with this fantastic creatures looking at us. Are you done? And it seems like just like that, then this fantastic concert that we were invited to hear has finished. We've had all four of them flying off.